I'm just going to take a nice deep breath and I'm going to invite you to join me just to connect. There's such a swirl of energy. Just wanting to connect into heart to heart, higher self, higher self, earth to earth with everyone who's watching this, whether it's now or later. <sighs> Sending so much love to your light, thanking you for your light um, warrior for your light way shower, for the light that is you here in love with you this day. This is what I wanted to speak to. Massive ascension, massive ascension continuing. Now that we've moved into the Aquarian sun, there's an acceleration. It's a rapid acceleration. That is what is here. You're feeling it. I know that we say this over and over and over again. I feel like a broken record over these last months of like, here's the next and here's the next, but that's what it is. It's the next and the next and the next and the next. And it's almost as if you can't catch a, bra a breath or a break in between. And that's okay. You are made for this. This is part of your natural design. You said yes to this. And this expansion is just going to continue at that really rapid rate. I'm watching a lot of people have massive breakdowns. Really breaking down. And we know if we remember that every breakdown in our perception in 3D is the breakthrough to a consciousness. And what's happening is there is the continuation of the mass stripping away, mass remembrance of the shadows that live within you, old wounding. I'm hearing a lot about what's coming up in dream time and the dreams are creating reconciliation for old emotions and running into old lovers or friends or people you had odds with and having this opportunity to really refresh, uh, reconcile, rise up and in the release. It's here and it can feel deep and stimulating. Many of us are being called back into the womb space, right? That feeling like you just want to come in and it's that coming in to break out. So I want to honor that if that's where you are. We are riding a roller coaster. We're up and the up is real up, very stimulating, very exciting. The down can be real down, but don't worry it's it's just a moment right it's turning changing activating so fast like attached to nothing allow for everything now with that being said they also said today that it's really important that we be very mindful of letting go of the old ways of communing communicating with each other so from third dimensionality there is a real program running about camaraderie and communion and communication, communing together to match pain bodies, right? And I know this, especially with the feminine, there's an old way of connecting over, oh, my pain. And we come in as the, as the feminine and this compassion and say, oh, I know that pain. And oh, this is where my pain was like that. And oh, this is where I had that that happened that felt so awful too. I get it. I understand. Or, oh, look at her over there. We, we're used to connecting between from, from a pain body and judgment. And this must stop. Okay. If you are witnessing someone in pain from a new frequency and a new vibration, how you move with them is by staying neutral in your light, witnessing them in their pain, as opposed to moving into your pain to feel as if you have a connection to them. S rise up, stay high, stay in your light. You can witness them in their pain and hold a spark to their resolve. No more commiserating. That's what I want to say. No more commiserating. Witness someone in their pain. I see you. I feel you. I know what's possible for you. How would you like to resolve it? What remedy, resolve, response is alive within you? I hold you as powerful. I know you're about to break through. I'm holding light here for your breakthrough. 
That's you staying in a high vibration as opposed to diving into the deep end of, well, when that happened to me, this happened, and all that just distortion that holds everyone in 3D. Rise up, hold them as powerful. And this also happens in the, the judgment piece where we look at another and we judge them. They are, they're not, they... Can you, if you're going to gaze upon another, and this is what divinity is saying, if you're going to gaze upon another, do so with love, do so with light. And if you cannot hold that frequency in your gaze, then do not gaze upon them. That is your job, dear ones, to stay in that frequency because where you are judging or commiserating on the outside plane, you are judging and commiserating on your inner plane and it is preventing you from raising up in frequency and meeting the fifth dimensional call that is upon you in this now moment. So witness with love, detach. This is how we rise together. I love you. I see you. I witness you from the lens of my love and my faith in your capacity to rise above whatever is experiencing through you in this now earth moment. Together we rise, sending love to your light, here gathering together in love with you. We got this. Have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you soon.